Hey everybody, I am here with Joe DeMax from Central Control and he's done it again at the NAB show. You have built a web browser solution that is going to allow people to build any type of controller and then access it from an iPad. This has got live video. What are you doing here, Joe? <laughs> Check this out. Yeah, so it's, it's built. On, on a Windows machine, you populate a blank layout using a combination of widgets. We've got buttons, faders, video previews, as Paul mentioned, T-bar if you want it. And then once you've done that, you can then access it from any web browser. So if you don't mind, I'll show you some I've, I've built for the show. This is like a, a video switcher layout. I've got my overlay control. I've got preview row, a program row. I've got a T-bar, some audio control here as well and video previews. So this is all coming from vMix. So if I take a source, you'll see it's very quick. I've actually never seen anybody recreate the vMix interface in a web browser like this. Right, well, quite you, frankly. You, you build it to be whatever you want it to be. I built another layout for PTZ here. So this is like a PTZ controller. I've got an on-screen joystick. I can create a, so if we create a preset now, if I hit store, it will grab a, a snapshot of where the camera nice. currently is and then display it on that button. There you go, you can see it there. Simple like audio mixer interface, I'm using this for the TriCast. We've got VU meters, we can see the levels and the input names on the little scribble strips here. And then another new feature we've got is an NDI router. So as many ins Whoa. and outs as you like, so I've just built myself like a view to, to use that router. So I've got all my outputs here and my, first, so I think the first eight are going to uh, TriCaster Mini S and then the next eight are for vMix. So if I recall a preset, I'll recall preset one, everything is now PTZ Optics. And Paul, if you want to hit preset three, we'll go back. We've switched back to all of our other sources. Wait, 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 I want to see that again. So preset one. All PTZ optics. And then preset three. Is our normal like show stick. Oh, so, wow. you, so you're making changes to, this is a VizRT software? This is TriCaster Mini S, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I haven't seen that yet, that's nice. And they're both just, they're all just looking at the uh, NDI routers outputs. Wow. And then I've even given myself a little preview monitor on the uh, interface so I can pretty much view any NDI source on my network just by selecting that and then looking at a source. There's the PTT camera. So now that we've kind of seen this, show us how to build one of yeah. these. Because you've, you've actually got an interface to allow people to custom build these. Yeah. And that's pretty interesting. So you start with no views down the side here and you click add layout to create one. I can zoom out to give myself more or less space. Huh. And then I just click a blank tile. I can add myself some buttons what size do I want it to be, say four by four, then I can resize it as I need it. Ooh. I can set any kind of styles on the buttons, rounded, change the color. And it's actually quite smart if you want to label them. So if I want these top row to be preview, if I type preview one and then apply the row, it will know Ooh. and it will just bump the, the number at the end up just to make it as quick as possible to label these and, and build these quickly. So how long does it take you to build one that you know has a PTZ controller or something like this with a whole VM? Are, do you have templates for the customers yet? Uh, there are, there are, will be templates. There are no templates yet, but I will include some preset layouts. Because something like this, I guess it would take an hour to build that. It took me about maybe 10 minutes to lay it all out oh. and then another 10 maybe just to assign the functionality onto the, onto the buttons themselves. Very nice. I love the live video. Can you show us an example of using a lot, turning one of those into a live piece of video? Uh, yes, so to do that, we've already got what we call a connect widget, which is WebRTC, lets you turn DeckLink or NDI or internal sources like our teleprompter into WebRTC, very low latency. So I'll just add a connect widget here, ah. and then it sees the modules I've already got in my project. So I'll say move 4K, already added that. We'll refresh this. Oh, and it just becomes one of these here. We'll, That's what we just created. We'll see it load up on here. There it is. Wow. So you are literally creating pages that you can shuffle through. Yeah. Wow. 
And then I can just right click this to snapshot it so I can have like a, a you, visual cue of what it's going to be. So do you envision central control running and then uh, literally iPads being given out to multiple right, users? Right. So for applications like House of Worship maybe where you want to volunteer proof yeah. it a bit, you can create a very simple switcher layout. Then what I can do is I can, when I create my link or QR code, I can lock them to a certain view. So I wow. could make a simple layout for them where they maybe can't touch the router and, and mess that all up for the yeah. rest of us. And then if I give them that link, the sidebar will disappear. Oh, you actually generate a QR code yeah, for so them. Yes, you, they're, they're, you know. Ah, so someone gets a master access to all of them, but then you have individual pages that are page. locked to an individual. Yeah. Wow. Um, this is really, really cool. Um, does this work with the NDI, or sorry, the vMix Telestrator yet? I don't see why you couldn't. As long as you had it as NDI, you could get it in. Or we are looking to do another widget that's a, like an iframe widget. So put whatever web content you want into one of these views. So you, Which one of them could be? Because that for me, like in the sports yeah. market, for example, like you got a little Telestrator, you got a little switcher, yeah. you got a few previews. I'm seeing a lot of that where like vMix and central control can be like a hub, but then you've got like several different people. I would really love to see a template for instant replay yeah. control in vMix because a lot of that is happening with um, just like reviewing plays, reviewing yes. things, highlighting stuff. Um, that's really interesting, man. You're doing some cool stuff, Joe. Thank you, Paul. I love it. Um, check out Joey and Central Control. Let us know what you think in the comments below.